All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 4 is equal to 4. So I'm going to first start by subtracting 4 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and now I have x to the power of 4 minus 4 is equal to 0. Now x to the power of 4, I can rewrite as x to the power of 2 times 2. And 4, I can rewrite as 2 squared. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So x to the power of 2 times 2, that's going to equal x to the power of 2 to the power of 2. Now I have this minus 2 squared is equal to 0. Now if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is x squared and b is 2. So I have x squared plus 2 times x squared minus 2 is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I have x squared plus 2 is equal to 0, and x squared minus 2 is equal to 0. So for x squared plus 2 equals 0, I can subtract 2 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I have x squared is equal to negative 2. So now to solve this, I'm going to take the square root on both sides. The square root of x squared is x, and the square root of negative 2 is the square root of 2 times the square root of negative 1. Now if you guys already know, the square root of negative 1 is equal to i. So I have x is equal to positive or negative the square root of 2i. Now for x squared minus 2 equals 0, I can simply add 2 on both sides and I get x squared is equal to positive 2. Now to solve this, I'm going to take the square root on both sides. The square root of x squared is x, and the square root of, and this is equal to positive or negative square root of 2. So now, I'm going to check my original equation was x to the power of 4 is equal to 4. So the square root of 2 to the power of 4, because this is an even exponent, it doesn't matter if it is positive or negative. It's going to be the same result. The square root of 2 is the same thing as 1 half. So I have 2 to the power of 1 half to the power of 4, which is equal to 2 to the power of 2, which is equal to 4. So this works. And for the square root of 2i, it's exactly the same thing. There's no difference. So my four solutions are right. All right, so in this problem, I have 4 to the power of x is equal to 12. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by taking the log on both sides. So now I have log 4 to the power of x is equal to log 12. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, this is equal to b times log a, because all I have to do is simply move my exponent to the front. So for log 4 to the power of x, I can move x to the front. So this is going to equal x times log 4 is equal to log 12. Now, we obviously want to isolate x here, so to do that, I have to get rid of this log 4 by dividing on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and now I have x is equal to log 12 over log 4. Now, log 12, that's equal to log 4 times 3. And I have this over log 4. And if I have something in the form log of a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So log of 4 times 3, that's going to equal log 4 plus log 3 over log 4. And this is equal to log 4 over log 4 plus 
log 3 over log 4. Now log 4 and log 4, these two cancel out. So now I have 1 plus log 3 over log 4. Now log 4, that's equal to 2 squared. So I have x is equal to 1 plus log 3 over log 2 squared. And log 2 squared, that's the same thing as 2 times log 2. Now log 3 is equal to 0 0.4771. And log 2, this is equal to 0 0.301. So now I have x is equal to 1 plus 0 0.4771 over 2 times 0 0.301. And this is equal to 1 plus 0 0.7925, which is equal to 1.7925. All right, so in this problem, I have 4 to the power of x plus 16 to the power of x is equal to 64 to the power of x. Now, 16, I can rewrite as 4 squared. So now I have 4 to the power of x plus 4 squared to the power of x. And now 64, I can rewrite as 4 to the power of 3. Now I'm going to rewrite this as 4 to the power of x squared. 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x squared is equal to 4 to the power of x to the power of 3. Because I can switch the places of these two. Now I'm going to let 4 to the power of x equal to the variable u. So now I have u plus u squared is equal to u to the power of 3. Now to solve this, I'm going to start by factoring out, I'm not, sorry, I'm going to start by subtracting u squared and u on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and now I have u to the power of 3 minus u squared minus u is equal to 0. Now I can factor out u, so I have u times u squared minus u minus 1 is equal to 0. Now to solve this, I can divide this into two parts, u, equate, u equals 0 and u squared minus u minus 1 is equal to 0. So u equals equal 0, this is already a solution, and to solve u squared minus u minus 1 equals 0, we have to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So I'm not going to waste your time actually plugging in everything into the quadratic formula, but you should end up getting u equals 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And u is equal to 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2. So now, remember how we set u, 4 to the power of x equal to u. So first, I have 4 to the power of x equals 0, and there's no solution to this because you can't take the power of a number and make it equal to 0. So now I have 4 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2, and 4 to the power of x is equal to 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2. Well, 1 minus the square root of 5 is going to be a negative number, and you can't take the power of a positive number and make it negative. So this is no solution as well. So I have 4 to the, much with 4 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And to solve this, I'm going to take the log on both sides. So now I have x times log 4 is equal to log of 1, 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. Now if I divide both sides by log 4, these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log of 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 over log 4.